back at LZ MFG, well, LZ HQ, LZ Compound, right? I'm back here. We came up with the cockamamie scheme. What if we came here, we set a clock, 30 days to rebuild your house? Since you live here now, and you were talking to me, we we're kind of talking back and forth about, you know, what, what about a project? You know, you're going to hire some contractors. I said, what if Mike and I did it? And you doubled our subscriber base. That was the that was the, the payment. Right? Mm -hmm. You got to pay us to double your subscribe, double my subscribers. And I'm obviously you're gonna make me do all kinds of stuff that I don't want to do around here, like jumping dirt bikes and stupid stuff outside of my comfort zone. So what if we put you know nature cast cabinets, built an outdoor kitchen. We did the kitchen. We did appliances. We built an office like desk setup. Just made the house legit. Did some great audio, great lighting. And of course, you said, "Let's do it." I mean, it, it kind of sounds a, a little too good to be true for me. We uh, we we kind of loosely talked about this back when I first got the compound, and Matt right. was real gung ho about it. And then I feel like it kind of it died off mm. until I, I sent you that message because we had like the proposal from the engineers to like redesign yeah. it. Yeah. And then Matt came over and I kind of wooed him with the CRX and got him all <laughs> giddy. And he's like, "Hmm, I could spend more time here and have more fun." I never get in trouble for Michelle. But I, he and I, I cleared it with him first, you know, so I cleared it with him. And yeah, she was mad? Yeah, because I didn't, like, I said, I'm going to be gone for, like, a month. <laughs> and yeah. she's oh, like, are yes. you going to ask me first? This project. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I never get in trouble, but I got in big trouble she for that. This morning, she says, now, you got you to gotta keep them in check before you, just the house. I said, oh, no, we're going to remodel the pool, do the garage. <laughs> I, I had her all fired up before we left. <laughs> yeah, I never get in trouble. And she's like, were you going to ask me first? I was like, well, this is the business. This is what I got to do to make a living here. So we're about, we're about, what was it, um, 60 miles? Mm, I don't know. It's an hour and a half from, from Yeah, Michigan. so it's an hour and a half from, from home over here. to the east. So we're on the east side of Orlando. We live on the northwest side of Orlando. Um, but what I was planning, I'd build like some, I'm gonna, we're going to rent some ridiculous RV. There's some RV hookups on the property, so I'm going to go live in an RV, which is like totally outside of I my comfort zone. Snore, gonna no, you're going to get an RV and I'm going to get an RV. We're going to have our own oh, RV. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. Are yeah. you going to polish your RV? Maybe. We'll do, really yeah, yeah, well, we have to do, we'll do, you know, we'll probably have to build the wash bay because I need a good wash bay here. For the RV? No, 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 for, <laughs> just for, for, for cars. Cause we're going to do, we have to continue our wash and drive series. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have to borrow some cars, That's do some fun. wash and drive. Um, just and, drive around the compound. <laughs> <laughs> That's, safe. That's all That's I need. Safe. Just like a couple weeks ago, we still had all the original decorations and there's a lot of like, Aztec, like yeah, Ryan yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of vibes going on. That like Southwest Indian Aztec clay tile type of style, and we're gonna, you know, Laurel's coming, so Laurel's gonna help us figure out, you know, what is Adam and Colette's style? What are they looking for? Um, Adam wants clean. Colette wants Phillips Hue lights. So we're gonna talk her out of that. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna find that Laurel's gonna help find their style. We'll hopefully try to get some footage of them going to pick out furniture and stuff like that. And then we're going to gather all the products. We have to order everything. So there might be some, some significant lead time on yep. this stuff. Uh, and so I'm guessing September, October, something like that. We'll kick Adam and Colette out of the house. They'll go back to the Oviedo house for a month. We'll get RVs and we'll start tearing it apart and building it. I was kind of crossing my fingers and just hoping that, you know, the styling of the house would come back if I waited long enough. <laughs> <laughs> like that was, that was my mentality. Because there's... You know, there's Wait some, till you see this place. There's some good appliances in there, and like <laughs> it's all quality wood that was handmade by the neighbor next door. It, was, it would have been really cheap if like you know all that styling came back. back. I don't think that's gonna happen, man. No, yeah. no maybe no, that no. tribal tattoos will come back too, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can get like the barbed wire on your. Yeah. Mid-century moderns in what what year is that from? Fifties, fifties, sixties, seventies. Yeah. So so like twenty more years, and it might come back. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. It has green soffit. What's soffit? Soffit is like all the, the like the gutters and all the surrounding mm. areas. Yeah, so that's dude, the green. green everywhere here kills yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So green we're gonna tan. we're gonna pick an exterior color, an exterior theme, uh, an interior theme. Um, there's a lot of pine. Yeah. So we're gonna figure out uh, what the project is. So Kyle's here with us too. Uh, we're gonna go and look at the house and um, figure out what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Yeah. How big is the? I think it's about I don't know. that. I so y'all no known each other since you were uh, probably what six years? Six or seven years. Six or seven yeah. years. 
So the house is here, obviously, this, the, the pool area, but you'll, you'll see, it's, uh, it's something. So obviously paint the roof, paint yeah, the exterior, yeah, we have the get rid of the green. Oh, like do you the, have the, the plans? The floor plan and Oh, perfect, yeah. awesome. Yeah, we'll get that. Yep. I think so I then, have it in email format too. Oh, even it's better. It's not digital yeah. though. It's all like hand drawn. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. we don't have to measure anything. That's even better, yeah. This driveway didn't even used to be here, so it was like the front door is in the backyard. <laughs> it's very weird. We, we, I don't think we've ever gone in the house through here. How, how long have you owned it? Uh, about two years now. So okay. we, ha we have another house in Oviedo that's much nicer, and like I purchased this compound for my business to run out of, and we wound up just staying here. Okay. It's like nice enough to live in, but like just barely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. you've had it a couple years. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we've done nothing to it. Like it had all the decorations from when we first moved in up until about like a few weeks ago. Okay. Still all the old furniture from like 20 so, years so ago. So the original plan was he was going to live in Oviedo and just kind of stay here sometimes, but now okay. they spend almost all their time here. Yeah. Very okay. rarely go to Oviedo, so okay. it's time to make it livable, you yeah. know, make it, make it nice. Okay, good. Okay, tell me what you like about the house, what you don't like about the house. <sighs> what do I like about the house? Well, obviously the location. Yeah, the location, the proximity to work is great. Yeah. 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 Dude, nice, huh? I mean, um, his office is that big building you park next to. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. All I right. Th I think you'll see that the roof inside is pretty cool. Like the, yeah. the fact that it's wood, it doesn't necessarily need to stay wood colored, but I like the vaulted ceilings. I think that's like probably the coolest feature of the house. Okay. And it's very small, but like in a good way, I feel like. Like it's not, there's not too many rooms. It's right. kind of condensed. Oh, I would love more light. If we could do more light in the house, that'd be sweet. Okay. Let's go in uh, this way. Okay. So we'll have to pick the exterior roof color. Gut, we'd paint the gutters, the soffit, right? What do you think about this ramp, Matt? Should we get rid of it or put something else there instead? Yeah, I mean, if you just, we just painted it, it wouldn't, yeah. I don't think, I don't think it'd be worth the effort to rip this thing out. So the painters would hire a stucco guy and they would come out. It'd be so cool if there was a way to make like a hybrid where you could also walk straight up because sometimes it takes so long to walk around. Yeah, so you can go up both ways. Maybe on the other side. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So when you're walking up with your groceries, it's annoying to kind of zigzag all the way up. Yeah. So, Kyle will be thinking about where we would do outdoor kitchen. We Somewhere have an outdoor here. kitchen in there. Right. But oh, it's, uh, it just, it needs some love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That would be kind of cool. I was gonna to say do though, a, you could you could make this almost like a cabana kind of. Yeah, it yeah. All be opened up, but yeah. you can make it more like a cabana. It's kind of cool. It's motorized. Is that a bathroom in there? Yeah. To, hey, to be fair as well, these doors haven't been opened in probably like they're working like great. Four months. That, no, I'm saying that's why the the, yeah. the girl must have. Failed. Oh yeah, yeah. No judging here, Adam. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We don't judge. We look for potential. I think we've, we've used this outdoor area probably like three or four times in like a year span. It's just really when we have like guests over. But if this was really sweet, yeah. new tile, new paint. Um, Can we keep then... the TV? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what you got? Hello. Hello you got? This is Colette. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yeah, I haven't even honestly seen inside that area and probably Colette, no judging. We're not Your story judging. matches mine. That's exactly yeah, that's what I true. said. <laughs> you guys definitely did, did a free meet. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The pool's very weird. Yeah, I think I think that could use what a little of bit of... What kind of pool combo with just like yeah. a kid area? Oh, yeah. Well, I put that in. That's pretty fun. Oh, this thing? Yeah, it's, it's cool. a roller log. Uh -huh. Yeah. Matt, it's very. It, it looks like the pool's empty. When you look at it, everyone's like, oh, why is your pool level so low? But it was actually built to be like this. Yeah. But it looks like the water should be up here. Yeah, yeah I, I don't like the different levels. I think that A, it's dangerous, and B, it just it prevents you from having the full access of entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's just this is all raised bond beam. You just continue to raise bond beam through here, and they have to dig into this bond beam and tie into it, and you can continue to raise bond beam all the way around, bring it all. Oh, what is that's like a fifty grand deal, though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a big expense. Pebble Tech. You'll see. It's I mean, it's well built. Like it's like they, all it's all concrete and like metal construction, so it can like withstand like a category seventeen hurricane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy was a big you know, sort of semi prepper as well as. What do you have a porta potty on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, th I think this is uh, for pool stuff, maybe. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> I think what we do is maybe get a pool guy out here and get a quote to yeah. see 
what something like that would entail. Mm -hmm. I, I know you don't you, you don't care about it. Yeah. This would make. And this is something we could always do in a phase two. Yeah, but. and that, that, that could be the move. At least it's hard to justify. It's already hard enough to justify it just to upkeep the pool because we use it once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. But it's, if it looks bad, it's just annoying to look at, you know? So just imagine out here, Adam, if you had like an all built in, super usable grilling setup, right? You'd had hood vent, you would have hood so it vents out. Mm -hmm. This was like really nice tile. We did some stone on here. The pole was usable. You had like tables and chairs and just, you know, just then you might do stuff out here. Yeah. You might, when you get fancy, you know, like five years from now when mm -hmm. you're a little older and fancier, you know, you start doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> you gotta learn how to cook first. Well, you just have someone do that for you. There's always somebody in your friend group that knows how to cook. No, this is true. See, I don't look at things like this. I just walk in, I go to bed. Now you're yeah. I know. Yeah. I think what we need to do, Laurel, is we'll focus on the inside of the house. Okay. And we'll see what that comes in at. Okay. You know, we want to, he wants to be, you know, 100 to, you know, less than 200. 100, 150 grand is kind of what we're in, targeting. Inside? Correct, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, inside, okay. you know, and, um, and and we're going to, you know, maybe with paint's probably going to be, you know, 15, 20 grand to paint the outside of the house. Nice. Um, but and we'll, everything will be all the stuff that I do will be cost, you know, or less. We'll get sponsored, but you know, we need cabinets, we need flooring, we need uh, like all the lighting. I'll take care of all the all the actual light fix the light, not the fixtures, but the light. I'd I'd say 150 inside. So Matt, what I, what I was saying that could be cool. The the dogs always go out in this area, so it could be cool to do like a little dog area, like a little oh, green. Yeah, we can do a dog run. I was just gonna do some like. Ghetto one. But if we were doing stuff outside, like that would get used way more than the pool. Yeah. Style. That's, those are beautiful. Those. You look very overwhelmed. Not at all. <laughs> no. Oh, you have no idea some of the places I've been in. <laughs> Not at all. This is I, I, I want to take a sawzall to it. Yeah. Like it separates you. You can't cook and see. You yeah, can't. This so tall. It just like makes everything feel yeah. so much smaller. If we if we can have cabinets made, we can install them. Yeah, right. So that's another option. So right. if we ordered okay. some cabinets, yeah, he doesn't have to install. Them. Right, right. But I would want you know you and and these two you know I'd want you to take them to Winter Park and pick out style and all that kind of stuff. I love the ceiling, but that's mold up there. Yeah, it's so kind of been it's an gonna issue. have to be. How do you feel about painting it? Not opposed. Not opposed. Um, I, don't, I think it's cool that it's blank though. Like I think it'd be a crime to, to, oh, yeah, to drywall yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, no. I know we need a we need a big ceiling fan up there purely from like a like a functionality standpoint, just to keep the humidity from up there. We redid a lot of the uh, the AC ducts and stuff to prevent some of that mold and mildew buildup, but we still need more circulation up there. Yeah, to keep, because what happens is there's hot air seeping through, like if we had a, like, because I brought thermal cameras mm -hmm. into my house, we've got thermal cameras in every one of those grooves, you can see heat, and then you have the cold, you know, the cold air in here, and then it creates condensation, which then creates mold. About the built-ins. What? The, oh, I think that, that whole thing should come out. Yeah. Okay. What? No, no, no oh, attachment. All the, so yeah. every room has a massive, like, wooden The neighbor structure. built all the cabinets here. He's a, he's a woodworker. Which is really cool. And like, it, it's definitely, right. they're, right. it's, I'm torn, they're so beautiful and it's unique. Now I looked, cause you know, I'm trying to get to know y'all a little bit better. I looked on some of your Instagram, of course, I see the cars and things like that, but you love color. <laughs> and I love that. Yesterday I saw a pink stove and I thought oven, this gorgeous oven and I thought of you. Can you please, um, yeah, yeah, no pink you have here. to come by, so I just renovated my office. Oh, it's done now. Okay, I can we'll show go you. Check it I out. just finished renovating my office. It's like a pink everywhere. It's funny though, just for the house, color, I don't know, I like more black and white, so I'm like opposite. Okay, And like my, per my personal know. life, yes. keeping it minimal for the house. Okay. But if, you know, if there is a color that we want to kind of weave in, if we do some gold and silver metals, maybe like a little yellow. 
So the reason why I wanted to bring her is so you didn't feel like you're stuck with, because I'm, I don't do that. I do the function, not the style. And so she could make this look exactly like you want. And if you trust her advice on some of the out, because I tend to get out there and she brings me back. <laughs> and then we come to a, a compromise and we come up with a something that's going to look great. Me, it tends to be obviously more sterile and boring. And then she brings in. So with you, it'll be you know, when you start to get out there, she'll bring you close to what you want and you'll end up liking it more than you originally envisioned. Yeah. I'm not really worried about y'all. I, I think that that's why you trust the people that work for you is that you know how good they are. So I'm not worried. I, so I love how you love a lot of color. And then Adam, you like? I'm more like function based. Like that like was my, that was exactly what things I wrote down at home. Like yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking about this area, like how can we rearrange the this to have maybe some seating like an island does the dining room table stay here does it maybe move to the other side where do we put the tv like like how do we rearrange this living room so that the like i would love a tv that you can see from the island or from the the dining room yeah table. see laurel i i would want to do here you know my normal thing where we do a you know a, a like a 120 inch restoration and then you put the TV above that, and then we build, build this instead of kind of odd, we build it as a rectangle. Right now, why it feels so weird is because that island is so high, mm -hmm. it kind of blocks it all. The only thing I'm not crazy about is putting the table all the way over here, even if we block this it has It's kind of narrow. It's just kind of off the stairs. It just, it doesn't feel like this is nice because you guys can sit there and eat and look out. Can we add more windows? Is that a thing? Or no, nah, not really. I just hate how much, how little light there is in here because well, of like the design of the outside if cave. If this comes out, if that became a window, so when this comes out and that window opens up, that'll be a whole lot more light. But it's like, do, do we add one there though or no? Because the TV would go there. I think that- I would leave this, this wall right here solid, mm -hmm. right in here if that's where we choose to put the TV. That makes sense. The only other thing is if we do the reverse, if we decide to enclose this and put the TV there, then we could make mm. some windows, but it does make sense there's, since there's a window there already. Yeah. I for cost. If it wasn't there though, I, I think I agree with you. It would almost make more sense to put the TV here because then you could see it from everywhere. Right. Versus like, right now, this is still even a little weird if you're sitting Yeah, but there. this kitchen is gonna turn, right? This is gonna turn, and you'll probably have a bar, right? So most mm -hmm. of their eating will be at the bar. The, the thing you have to keep in mind, if we start adding yeah. windows, then you're, yeah. I mean, kind of just a window is 20 grand. Well, the other thing that's gonna change in here as well is we're gonna change the lighting. So the actual yeah. fit, not the, not the natural light, but the lighting, the light fixtures are gonna change. Literally yeah, we'll do raw too. Yeah, we'll do Lutron. Yeah. We do a yeah. trip around the house sometimes just to turn off all the lights. Especially no Alexa, but it'll be, you know, Siri, turn off the kitchen lights, that kind of thing. Do you talk to your phone? Okay. Alexa's for poor people. You all have a, have a preference as to your flooring. <laughs> One other thing that helps too are uh, one, my business partner owns a stone company. So for countertops and everything, okay. like he gives us like unreal pricing and like we'll top notch service. So anything marble, go. granite, we just need to, whatever we want, they can get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Not flooring, but countertops. Right. So we'll place it's far, but they could probably bring us samples. They're over in um, Fort Myers. I, I have a lot of right. back issues. I have like two herniated discs. Oh, so lovely. for like the, the chairs at the dining table, the, the cushion for your bottom is really important. Yeah. Like if it's a hardwood bottom or if it's just like a faux cushion, it doesn't work. Yeah. But if it has like solid cushion, and like a, a solid cushion back, mm -hmm. and there are hybrids where like I've sat in plenty of chairs that look nice and are so comfortable, but like that's way more important than what it looks like to me. Yeah. No, so we went, we went to, what was it, Rustic Hardware in, in Winter Park, and like we found some that we both liked, but then like we went up to them and we're like, yeah, we can have this couch to you in like nine months, and I was just like, forget about it. Yeah. We want to do Folger Milano appliances, and um, so Folger has cool, like different colored um, um, skins for, right. for some of their stuff. Right. Because I can do Folger at cost. Okay. Uh, and then, so and then what do you do with this pantry? 
So this pantry transitions to the laundry, which transitions to the master. I would love a bigger laundry room. I don't know about you, Colette, but if we could have a little bit more room in the laundry room. I think if this was just made more efficient. I think that's, I think that's the deal. Yeah. Because I think that you're going to need, you're going to feel like you need more kitchen than more laundry room. Mm -hmm. It'd be I a wish. little weird with this room, because this is actually like a safe room. So it's like cemented in, you can lock yourself in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. but, um, I would say this bedroom is big enough, in my opinion. Yeah. I think, I, and again, it's like like you said, more efficient. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was more efficient, we can make this really elegant. Th big. This comes out, has yeah, more space. I think about my TV mount. Yeah. I mounted it right to the doors. Nice. The old TV's still in there. It's cool. yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> it works. I don't know. So she really wants a tub. I don't need a lot of space for showers. If yeah. it She's short, so it's a little stubby tub. <laughs> a little stubby hey, tub. you think about it. So I, just... I, I would love a, a comfortable floor, but I don't think it's gonna look good. Like carpet's not gonna work. No, no, you don't want that. Yeah, I know. You do Like a nice, too, pad, you... a nice padded rug in the living room. You do area. Screw my back. Like this yeah. sucks. Is it, are you getting it fixed? Any kind of... I try to do everything. It's really just managing the pain rather than fixing it. Uh... Yeah. So what Laurel's saying is, kitchen alone is 100, concern, 150 grand. My concern yeah. is the budget, mm -hmm. and it's not your budget; it's his budget. <laughs> yeah. I, well, my budget's 500. <laughs> but. I just I I do this every day, and I just know kitchen alone, we might be able to get it done for about 150. Um, and then I'm talking I'm talking both cabinets, hardware, countertops, right. Plumbing, appliances, labor. right, right. Oh, yeah. So that's all of that. Um, your furniture, your furniture, maybe just depending how much. If you want tables, sofas, chairs, coffee tables, end tables, and stuff like that, under fifty. Mm -hmm. It would be anywhere between thirty-five and fifty. What, but let me back up a little. What I was telling Maddie, I think what we do is come up with a master plan and then you pick and choose. You just kind of shop it. Okay, I'm ready now to do the master bathroom. Okay, now I'm ready to do the kitchen. And then you don't have to spend all your money all at once. You just do it as whatever you feel need. If it was me, my first, I would get rid of this. That's the first thing I think I'd do. Second thing I'd do. And that, that was our, our, two, our yeah. two first things if we weren't doing the house was Kitchen and bathroom. That's exactly yeah. what I would say. But I think you're right. I think we do a master plan, what, see what certain things cost. What's your long-term plan on, like, would you live here for 10 years? Yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing, right? Like, uh, it's, a, it's a weird scenario because anything that goes into this house is like a sunk cost. It's not like a standalone house where, like, at some point right. we might sell it and get our money right. back. Right. This house is stuck with the property. Right. And no one's going to buy the property for this house. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for us, at least, like, if we did nothing to the pool, we didn't paint the outside of the house, like, the, the inside is the most important to me. I don't know about you. Because sure. this yeah. is where we we should spend time. We don't really, but like sure. outside, like who cares if it doesn't look the best? You know, that's that's the stuff that I'd rather wait till later yeah. and then okay. do the house. Mm -hmm. I would rather wait even like next year, way later for outside. Yeah. And that whole building, like usually it's always closed for the most part. Like so the summer's out of sight, out of mind, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the inside would be amazing. And I think with one pass, since you guys are gonna like be here and everything's already gonna get dirty and crazy, if we could do everything structurally. Okay, that, like, we I think that's a good plan. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good plan. I think yeah. then what we do is put together a master plan, knowing what their desire is, knowing, and then we come up with it as economically as we can or as efficiently as we can, and then you guys decide. And there's gonna be things like, marble is gonna be a big price different than porcelain, mm -hmm. right? There's gonna be, uh, you know, maybe we end up doing wood tile or whatever to bring prices down. So there might be, you know, design options that you have to go for to keep within some kind of reasonable budget. That makes sense. Yeah. What was this room? So what's upstairs? Is it just the loft or is there a room yeah, up there? Yeah, there's also a weird room. We can go upstairs. And really quick before we go up there. Let's look at that. So this this was the office behind the master closet. Yeah, just make this the whole closet, Laurel. Oh, 100%. Just come through that 100%. wall. 
So the concern that we had in talking a about it before was that we talked to a contractor and we're like, okay, if we had knocked down this wall, we lose all of our current hanging space that's on the other side, and then there's windows here. So okay. like, so that was going to be my first thing I was going to say is we could possibly fill these windows in just do transoms, mm -hmm. you know, and then you have. And I can build around that. Yeah. It's a transom? Yes. The transom is just the top. top. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you still have natural light because I love natural light in my yeah. closets. Um, so you still have natural light, but then you have all this wall space. But we could work with this and make this with our closet I was stuff say, amazing. This closet company is amazing. Yeah. So we could really create something. They could create something just very functional. But doubling your space, I would, especially yeah, since that's a priority, I would use this for that. Mm -hmm. okay, You'd probably so do an island be, in here as well. And I think that would be a very good investment. I, I, I like the, the cement floor kind of look with the glass and the... Yeah, we can't do cement kinda, for him, but yeah, But in I like, like the styling. The look at so, I love yeah. that. Okay. But if we could do glass or the iron you're talking about, something okay. more modern, because that would cover all of this and visually it's like make it look a lot bigger. You can do a closet. What's that? Is that a closet? Yeah, so this is a very weird room that oh. is a lot of extra space. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a mechanical. But like, this is where the, the previous owner had all their shoe racks in here. Oh, wow. So I would eventually, it might not be something that we get to, but in my head I'm thinking racing simulator room. Yeah, if, you, if you make it, it has a like weird yeah. structure, and we great have that idea. simulator out there. Yeah, great so, idea. This is all this. I don't normally have a hard time with vision, but the, um, I'm having a hard time. It's like your wood cabin houses. You know how much difference it looks once we got it. The sound system rips. You should you should test it out. I want to see what your thoughts are. It sounds great. Yeah, rips out. <laughs> no, I want you to hear it. Rip in. All jokes aside, I think Matt will approve. Yeah. Oh, it's, I can tell it was legit old school. Yeah. You know, 20 years ago, it was, this was legit. 25 years ago. It's all Sony ES. Yeah, that one was kind of hard to take down. All those ones are still up there, too. I would, this really worries me yeah. here. And I would... Yeah, we got, we got it tested. Yeah. I told, yeah. I, or maybe even do it, and you got it all tested and stuff. Because we got it tested and we bleached, oh, the bleach took a lot of it off. Yeah. Um, it was way worse. Because the house was unconditioned for years, just sitting here. Oh. It was like five years. Of I had the same thing at my house, so there's a, you know, painters will come and then they, um, they bleach it and then they put a, yeah, they put, yeah, they put a primer down. All these doors are fine. Just paint those, paint the ceilings, leave the beams. Well, those beams are their I beams. All the time, the yeah, they're just cased out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of this stuff is borderline on vintage, like that we could probably sell. sell That's what I was telling Adam. Yeah. Like this cabinets, if we take it out in modules, we could probably sell it to somebody. Mm. We could probably sell it to the neighbor, Maybe. sell it back to him. He would have the customer for it. Yeah. I don't know what the speakers are. So if we, again, if you had a more substantial light there and above here and these sconces and these were proper, these were proper lights, then we could end up with a really decently lit. They might have got 3,500 in this house maybe. Well, it depends on what we did with the cabinets. If they did white cabinets then yeah. Maybe 3,500 um, yeah, so everything in here was pretty much as you see it now. We just painted the walls. The floors were already done and this added is, the This lights. is our Harbor Gray, Laurel. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> I love it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I know, his favorite color. Yeah. Because um, I was going to say, that could have been just put on the outside, too. Yeah, that's just expensive. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> I know everything. Well, does every building. And then the problems are green. The aesthetic on the outside. I know. Every, every single one is this are there. 26. There's 26 buildings on this property? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's three houses. It, well, I know I pulled up the wrong one, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three houses, twenty. Okay, so what were they before? What the people who used to live here? What was it? They sold a lot of drugs. I'm just kidding. 
I love it. I love it. No, no, no. Is that, is that you? Is no, it was, a, it was a, a, an older guy who did well for himself and, you know, decided he wanted to get into restoring cars for his own collection and just started building out this place to be able to restore cars, had some of his staff living here. And well, that's amazing. Well, that's perfect for y'all. What we what? Needed, How did so. you get into cars? Racing since Race. I was like 15. Really? And then ended up getting more into the building side of it after only racing for other people for so many years and yeah. wanting to own my cars and own more stuff so that I can have more creative control. But um, yeah, I've been racing for a while. Wow. So. And how'd you get into it? I feel like I've just always been into it from a young age, but I didn't really actually start like driving, driving cars, probably like in my like late teens, early 20s. Really? Mm -hmm. That is super cool. Super, super cool. I remember you posted on obsessed garage about looking for property. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Before you found this place. I know, and then this place popped up. I'll show you. This, so this area is uh, kind of like, it's like a lounge kind of like hangout area, but we use it mostly for our leadership meetings up here. No, yeah, but this is for their office. Right, 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 right. But I mean, learning their style. Yeah, and yeah. you gotta learn how they live. You yeah. Know, and what makes it sing for them. So. But, you know, Adam, he does appreciate growing up, too, you know. Like, he's not going to pick it, but he'll love it. You know, he'll accept the, like, he let me take over his garage and do my thing in the garage before, you know. So there's, he's got some real potential here to do some cool stuff. I think it's so yeah. great. So I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time catching the vision. You can see me. I'm, yeah, I'm not a, uh, I need my budget is what I need. <laughs> Even. That's well. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do I talk him into doing what he should do? You know, I'm trying to figure out what that happy medium is. You know, because it makes a great point, and that like the, the house isn't like saleable. Like it's here, part of this place. It'll be like it'll be just like when he bought this. Like he got all this stuff. Like they can't value it. Yeah. You know, even though it has yeah, value, you can't sure. value. It. And so the same thing with the house. It's like. If we overbuild the thing, you're never going to get that back. But then there's that happy medium of Enjoying he's going to be there. living there, yeah. yeah. So trying to figure out what that balance is, you know, I would I really struggle with like imagine like the that pool deck and what that would look like. But then that's you oh. can't think of, of of it in terms of monetary return on investment. You just can't. It's just got to be what you want. If you're going to live here ten years, you want it a certain way. You're looking at it from just a standpoint of, well, am I going to get my money out of this? I don't think you can do that. Yeah. Talking about the project? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like owning a car. When you know you're going to own it forever, it's a lot easier to justify mm -hmm. putting triple the value of the car in right. it. Right. But yeah. you're if you're not committed, and that, that's, that's kind of the benefit here. Like, I would never do a renovation like this to my Oviedo house because I know that I'm not going to keep it forever. But yeah. this I'm kind of stuck with, even if I wanted to get rid of it. Like, it's attached to the compound. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm struggling with the, where's the balance here? You know, where do we have to draw a line somewhere. Where do we draw the line? I mean, I think it's, I think it's inside, right? Like outside, yeah. it's unrealistic to modernize all the buildings of the compound. Mm -hmm. the, the outside looks dated at the house, but like we show up so late at night, you don't even see the outside. As long as the inside where we spend our time is nice. Yeah. I think the, like focusing on like the quality of living right. kind of right. vision of like, all right, have nice stuff, nice things, nice environment where you spend your time. And it's the same thing with the shop, right? Mm -hmm. I don't see the value of painting the outside of the shop or doing the roofs to make it look super nice because we spend our time in the shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I struggle with that. I need to do it all. Well, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get in that right spot. That, that, that uh, razor roof is starting to show some signs of rust, though. It probably, it, it should be coated for sure at some point because the leading edges are all starting to rust. On the green roof? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So there's a practical part of maybe painting that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know that having the house not matching the rest of it, who cares? You know, if the house is standalone in itself and it looks like no, that's house, true. You could have it its own way and not really have it match everything else. That's fair. Hmm. I would. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. Just paint it. Yeah. So just imagine you have an amazing kitchen. You have a really nice living room with like nice furniture and a nice nicely done tv audio setup not crazy but but nicely done and then like a nice like office like desk up set up upstairs 
the closet's key. You know, if we could convert that closet and have tons of room there for you, that would kill it for you guys. And then the master bath, the master bath is the big thing. It's I'm struggling with the pantry and the laundry. I agree. Because we can't do much there because that wall, that safe room is all blocked mm -hmm. and probably holding up the whole darn house. It's holding up the upstairs for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like all of that cabinetry, that super deep, bulky cabinetry, when that all comes out. It's going to feel so open. Yeah. yeah. Like I almost see a benefit of, of getting rid of all the cabinetry in the pantry. We don't store anything in there. And then like turning that into like an extension of we the just, laundry room where like you could do folding and stuff in there. Like there's more counter space because you don't have the cabinets that are two inches above. It's hard because you can't take out that, any of the doorway wall. No, but I'm saying at least getting rid yeah. of the cabinets that are useless. Laurel, what's a master plan cost? What's the what? Like if you did a master plan, like time, like what would you charge to do that? I have no idea. I would have, I have, Sit down I have no idea. Yeah, before we get into it, let's oh, yeah. figure out what that. Oh yeah, I think oh, for sure we would put together kind of like a pre-budget. Mm -hmm. You know, I think what we do is just kind of first figure out how much things are going to cost us, put together yeah. a plan, and that would kind of give me a better idea as to. What it would yeah, be. I was just saying on camera, I'm trying to get in the headspace of what that you know, I'm I'm all or nothing, so I have a hard time putting myself into where's the line. You know, where do we draw the line and um, we can do that. what does that line look like? If we do like a light green, you won't be able to see the mildew on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get that pink inside the house. Just kidding. Yeah. A plan. Well, we're a separate plan. We'll have a plan we show them. Mixing there's that, there's that. that room underneath the stairs. <laughs> so we got to come up with a name for this project. Yep. Laurel. Maybe maybe they can contribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laurel's good at that kind of stuff. Laurel's going to work on a master plan, figuring out, you know, what would this cost? You know, where do we draw the line? Uh, and we'll start to put it together and figure out a timeline and all that stuff. So figure out cost, when, you know, who does what, and all that kind of stuff. Because if we did this, we would want to line it all up to where <laughs> we ordered all the stuff, everything's here, everything's ready, and then go. That way there's at least disruption for all of us. So this could be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. Hopefully you don't regret your decision. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on the fence, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. and Stay tuned. This will be a, a crazy project, but it'll be fun. See you, everybody.